Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called upon the people of Meghalaya to choose development over family rule. Addressing an election rally at Police Bazaar in Shillong in the election-bound Meghalaya on Friday, he said he will repay the love and affection that he is receiving from the people of Meghalaya by speeding up development in the state. He said the interest of Meghalaya will be given priority. Modi said the North East is becoming a strong force due to the initiatives taken by the central government. Earlier, the Prime Minister paid floral tributes to Meghalaya's freedom fighters at State Central Library and then carried out a roadshow heading to Police Bazaar. Moving on, East Khasi Hills District Magistrate C.B. Chakabarti Sadhu on Friday issued an order imposing Section 144 CRPC prohibit movement of individuals shall be strictly restricted within one kilometre radius of Indo-Bangladesh border of East Khasi Hills District from 24 February 2023 to 2nd March 2023. This order shall come into force with immediate effect and remain in force until further orders. Tumi Gangak, Under Secretary of the Arunachal Pradesh Public Service Commission, APPSC, was found dead on Friday. APPSC Under Secretary Tumi Gangak, who served as Assistant Controller of Examination, was under suspension over his alleged involvement in the APPSC question paper leak scam. Tumi Gangak was found hanging from a tree at Poma village near Itanagar in Arunachal Pradesh. Meanwhile, the Arunachal Pradesh Police has launched an investigation into the case. Notably, Tumi Gangak was summoned by the Central Bureau of Investigation in connection with his alleged involvement in the APPSC question paper leak scam in Arunachal Pradesh. Out of 393 Myanmar nationals who entered India through Manipur without valid documents during the period from 2022 to 2023 February, one has been deported. This was informed by the Manipur Chief Minister N. Birin Singh in reply to a question raised by the Opposition Congress MLA K. Ranjit Singh during the questionnaire in the State Assembly on Friday. The Manipur Chief Minister, who also holds the home portfolio, said a total of 105 Myanmar nationals, including women and children, who illegally entered India via Manipur in groups are being given shelters at a detention centre inside Sajiwa Jail in Imphal West District. 107 Myanmar nationals are also in judicial custody at different jails in Sajiwa and Tengnopal, while 180 Myanmar nationals were released on bail. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. 